Hi everyone, this is a short introduction to real-time SQL plan management available in Oracle Database 23AI. Before I dive into the details of this new feature, I just want to introduce you to a piece of infrastructure called the Automatic SQL Tuning Set. We added this in Oracle Database 19C. Originally, it was added to support automation in the Autonomous Database but subsequently its use has grown and it supports now lots of different types of automation, including and importantly, real-time SPM. It is a system-maintained SIS-owned SQL tuning set called SIS Auto SDS. You can see the contents of it quite easily. It shows up in the usual view DBA SQL set statements. And over time, it's going to capture most application SQL statements. And what I mean by uh, it will capture is there's a task that runs in the background that wakes up, looks in the cursor cache and captures SQL for you periodically. There are some exclusions and only SQL statements with plans are captured and it will a thr throttle capturing repeat non-bind SQL. So for example, if you have a SQL statement that uses literal values rather than bind values, it's not going to continuously cap capture that SQL statement over and over again. So it does throttle that. It's a long-term record of SQL statements. So in other words, we now have a record of what happens to a SQL statement over time. We know what plans it's used. We know what performance those plans delivered. Uh, and so even if you're not using automation, so it gives you a long-term record of what's going on with your SQL. It purges on your SQL after 53 weeks. So it's not something that will grow indefinitely. It can grow quite large, of course, depending on how much, how many unique SQL statements you have. But overall, I think the cost in storage in SysOrgs is very likely to be outweighed by the benefit of using that. And then if you want to use a feature like real-time SPM, you are going to have to enable it. So it does get turned on when real-time SPM is enabled. So let's take a look at auto SPM. So automatic SPM as a whole was added in Oracle Database 19C. So the scenario it's designed to address is that you have a SQL statement that's had acceptable performance over a period of time, but some change in the database environment or stats or something like that has caused a new a, a plan change. And now you have a new execution plan and it performs poorly. A background task wakes up and it actually wakes up periodically and it looks for performance regressions. And what that means, in fact, is it looks for SQL statements that are consuming a large amount of resource. And then for those SQL statements, it looks for alternative plans in the automatic SQL tuning set. When it finds those alt alternate plans, it will test execute. And what I mean by that, it in fact runs Evolve. So if you're familiar with SPM Evolve, that's what's going on in the background task. It evolves those plans that it's identified, figures out which plan is the best and reinstates that plan if a previous plan is better using a SQL plan baseline. And that SQL plan baseline will get accepted. So the idea is, in fact, that it, it wakes up identifies an issue and resolves it without any manual intervention. So that is available in Oracle Database 19C. It's in fact now available in Enterprise Edition as well. Previously, it wasn't licensed for Enterprise Edition, but now it is. So that's something that's worth looking at. So a couple of blog entries there for you to, to look at it if you're using 19C currently. So let's take a look at real-time SPM available in Oracle Database 23 AI is designed to work on the same scenario. So this is a subset again of automatic SPM, but things are done in a slightly different way. So real-time SPM, it again, repairs the performance regression. That's what it's designed to do. In this case, it detects the plan change in the foreground. So rather than relying on a background process to wake up, the foreground detects the change has happened. So once execution is completed after the plan has changed, the optimizer will identify a previous reference plan and checks to see if the performance of that previous plan was better than the performance of the new plan. And then out of the, that comparison, the better plan is accepted as a SQL plan baseline. So then subsequently, the SQL statement then continues to use the better plan. So let's let's take a look at that graphically. There are some notes about the slides I'm about to show you that internally we in fact track whether plan is worse, better or similar. So when there is a plan change, 
we compare and make a decision whether it's worse, better or similar. There are also additional reverse verification steps, which I'll uh, mention briefly later on, but I haven't included those in the, in the diagram, if you like, in the flow, but I, I will mention that. Okay, so let's take a look at the process. A SQL statement is hard parsed, and once it's parsed, we can see whether that SQL statement is known or not. And what I be mean by that is, does the SQL statement exist in the automatic SQL tuning set? If it does, we can then subsequently check to see whether the plan is known or not. In this case, the plan is not known, it's a new plan. So something's happened, the plan has changed. So what happens next? We execute the new plan. So the new plan is just executed normally. Once the execution is completed, we'll compare the execution stats with statistics of a previous reference plan. And in fact, that's the plan with the lowest cost. So we'll look inside the ASTS, find a low cost plan, and then compare the statistics. And if, for example, we find that the new plan is better, we'll create SQL plan baselines for the two plans and accept the better plan. So subsequently, then the new plan is used. So if you like, this is not a worrying situation. We've just got a better plan and we'll allow um, the optimizer to use that plan in future. In fact, if these plans were similar, we will create the SQL plan baseline and we just don't need to accept either of them. So essentially, both of them are allowed. We just don't need to accept any of them. So the optimizer will be able to use either plan. So that's the similar case as well. What happens if the old plan is better? You probably guessed. We'll create SQL plan baselines, but this time we're going to accept the old plan, the previous plan. So this is what real-time SPM is specifically designed to trap. So this is a case where a new plan performs poorly, so we'll reinstate the previous plan. So then in future, the accepted plan gets used, the accepted previous plan. Over time, we're going to continue to gather the different plans that we've seen in the automatic SQL tuning set. Okay, let's see what it actually looks like with this demo. Okay, so what I'm doing here, running the query. So right now, auto SPM is turned off. So just bear that in mind. So this is what you would normally see. So we have a query, takes about a second and a half. That's in fact a good plan and that's a hash join. Now imagine that some time has passed and I run the query again. So it takes about five and a half seconds this time. So it's not running as well as before. This plan is a nested loops, which in this case is not a great choice. Okay, if I run the uh, query again, nothing magic is gonna happen. So this is the sort of bad case scenario. This is bad because what I've got now is a SQL statement that where the plan has gone wrong and it's gonna continue to stay wrong. So it's not good. Right, let's turn on real-time SPM. Configure auto SPM evolve task to auto. Let's run the query again and let's see what happens. Okay, so this runs. It's not especially quick right now. So, yep. Okay, what was the plan that we got? Okay, we still have the bad plan. So what's happened is it's allowed the bad plan to run, but we have stats on it and you can see something's going on. So SQL plan management has woken up. Okay, so it's recognized the fact that this is potentially a, well, that this is a poorly performing plan compared with the previous plan. Let's run it again. So now it's down to a couple of seconds. Let's see what the plan is. So on the second execution, we have the hash join back. And we can see now that we also have a SQL plan baseline. Let's run it again. Okay, we're down to about a second and a half again now. Run it again. Okay, so we seem to be in good shape. The plan is a good plan and we have a SQL plan baseline. Okay, so that's that's what it looks like. It's essentially a self-repair, if you like. You don't need to do anything. There's no automation involved. You know something's happened. You can see what's happened in DBA SQL plan baselines. Foreground capture is the new origin. So it's created the two SQL plan baselines, accepted the best one. In fact, if you want to see what it accepted, you can look inside, you can use display SQL plan baseline, part of the DBMX plan API. It will show you that this plan's not accepted. That's the nested loop plan, not accepted, because we know that's not the good plan. 
The good plan is the hash join that has been accepted. Okay, so that's it. That's what it looks like. So first and foremost, the automatic uh, TQL tuning set is managed for you, so you don't need to turn that on and off. That's done uh, automatically with the configure. So once you configure these features on, it will wake up. So if you want the background version, the 19C version, if you like, of auto SPM, you set the task to on. To enable real time, the 23AI feature, you set, you set the configuration to auto and you can disable altogether using off. You can, there's a couple of views that you can look at to check the status. So for example, you can see um, that the task has woken up. For example, the auto SPM task has woken up here. Uh, in fact, you can see the SQL tuning set capture task as well in this list. So this one is enabled. And the feature itself, if you like the mode setting, you can see by looking inside this view and that will tell you what mode you're running in currently. There are a couple of um, new columns in SQL plan baselines and a new origin that you just saw. So the new origin, foreground capture, so you can see where the real-time SPN has woke up. The, the foreground client process captured the new SQL plan baseline. So you can see that as an origin. Uh, the new columns are foreground last verified, so you can see when this has happened. And also there's a new column and notes column, which has XML, which describes the tests that were made and what plans were compared and what performance they all had. So in fact, you can introspect that and see in detail what's happened. So in summary, it addresses SQL performance regressions. That's what it's for. It's available in Oracle Database 23 AI Enterprise Edition, and it creates SQL plans automatically and it operates without any manual intervention when you turn it on. So the idea is it's something you turn on and it just takes care of itself. So for more information, you can check out the license guide. Automatic SQL plan management is the entry in there. And then more information will be in the optimizer blog. So check that out as time goes on. Thank you.